Hello and welcome to Video Videos. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Canon 600D. Now this review is going to be um, put together by images and um, also video tests and we're going to be uh, seeing just exactly why you would want to buy a Canon 600D and um, why you wouldn't really be that interested in it. So uh, let's go do that now. The Canon EOS 600D is not that different to the 550D. In fact, it's more or less the same apart from the screen and also the extra weight given to the 600D. Now the 550D weighed 540 grams and the Canon 600D now weighs 570 grams. So for some people that's better because it may feel more robust, but for other people it may feel a bit heavier and um, people like the, the compactability of a camera, they don't really like carrying heavy equipment around, which may be uh, something to consider when buying this camera. The Canon 600D has some new features compared to the 550D. Some of these features include a new tilty swivelly screen which gives the better viewing angles when filming or taking images. It basically means that you can take good angle shots of your subject without having to navigate around the camera to suit the angle view. The 600D also has a 3.7 bear straight for the beginner user. Now although this may not be as good as higher end cameras which usually have in the range of about 5 to 10 frames per second however it serves the beginner good. It's not that fast but it is good enough for a beginner to get to terms with the camera's functions and to also get decent action shots as well. This camera runs on an LPEA battery which usually gives around 500 shots per charge. I would recommend buying a battery grip which will double the battery life and will also give the camera more bulk. Just like the Canon 550D, the 600D also has an external microphone input. This basically means that you can add extra audio instruments to improve the quality of your videos for sound. Some people may be looking and seeing that this is a good and important feature for filmmaking for instance. However others may not be that bothered about it and may decide to get a lower end camera for the basic tools for filmmaking. The 600D also comes with creative filters. There are five creative filters to choose from including miniature effect, fisheye, toy camera and many more. This basically means that when you are finished taking a picture you go onto the creative filters option and you can then transform your picture into an effect. Okay, so what we move on to now is the video quality. Now, what you are seeing here is some very good video recording. This is done by the 600D, which has been vastly improved from lower end cameras many years ago and has also been minorly improved from the 550D. For instance, the tilty swivelly screen gives better viewing angles when recording, which the 550D could not offer. Another good video recording function is the video snapshot mode. This basically allows you to create mini movies using different clips being compiled together. They can be 2, 4 or 8 second clips. But be warned, if you plan to compile different second clips together, it will not work. A brand new feature for the Canon is the 3 to 10 times digital zoom during video play. It means you can get close to an object without compromising on the HD quality. So the various settings for the camera are that you can toggle here through the different options. Now we'll get to these other options in a little while but uh, first I just want to um, go through the on-screen um, 
display here so what you've got up here is the ISO you've also got the aperture you've got the um, white balance there you've also got the picture mode you've got the lighting you've got the manual focus uh, and you've also got other effects as well so when I press to go onto the menu it will take me to this display here and it gives you flash control for further use with flash guns and things like that you've also got the uh, different modes here for the shooting you've got these after effects for the playback you've got the settings for the camera in general and then here you've also got my menu settings so the menu is fairly good the information here will give you various bits of information about different things such as free space 12.4 gigabyte and so on and also not to mention the uh, the tilt out screen um, and also you've, you've basically got different uh, settings on the screen depending on what you choose on the toggle here we have the different buttons for the display on the the uh, the screen and also for your pictures so up here we have the ISO we here have this button which can uh, give you a choice of filters and uh, uh, different effects to apply to your pictures we have the white balance up here we have the autofocus mode we have the single or continuous shooting uh, on here and then down here we have the picture uh, such as monochrome things like that and then right at the bottom here we have the playback button and the erasure button um, and so these are fairly uh, nice buttons to press you know whenever you press them they they click they're not um, solid they're not quite hard to to, uh, to press they make a nice clicking noise and uh, they're fairly simple to use unfortunately the 600D does not have a, um, a small dial that goes around the d-pad here it only has a mode dial to, uh, to to basically use so if you're that kind of person that prefers a mode dial um, maybe something like the 60D would be better for you instead of the 600D but uh, I can probably assure you that beginners are not going to want the uh, the different things like that um, to to use because they may not be used to it yet d-pad is something that everybody's used to even on compacts bridge cameras and uh, yeah it's basically um, easier to use alright so for the camera in general it is uh, it's a very nice weight it's a very nice um, size as well it nicely fits into your hands um, of course this has got the battery grip on so please if you are going to buy this um, or you're looking at it please don't think um, you know you walk into a shop and you think oh that's, that's not the same you know I've seen it here with a, bat a battery grip on and in the shop it's smaller well this is because I bought the battery grip extra um, and it's it's a nice feature to have uh, up here you have the uh, the mode dial you also have the um, record button up there and uh, you've got the menu button there and information button there button there you have the viewfinder you've got the um, hot shoe mount and you've also got the flash control which is over here so all in all it's a nice um, it's a nice camera the lens which is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens you get um, given and you get with the camera if you decide to purchase this package of course there are the 18 to 135 millimeter uh, and there are also the body only packages so depending on what you want to buy I'm just reviewing the 80 to 55 mil and the 18 to 135 mil will be um, similar to that too so you've basically got the zoom ring here you've got the manual focus ring you've got the 
image stabiliser which is on or off, as you can see mine is currently turned on, the auto focus or manual focus switch um, and, and that's basically um, it's a nice lens, it's rather plasticky but it is only worth around 70 to 80 pounds uh, on its own without the camera um, so you can see that it's not going to be the best in the world, it's not going to be like an L lens but um, it's still a very good lens uh, for the beginner if you're not expecting highly of lens at this at this time and you've, don't, you've only just bought a camera um, it's not really going to be that important to to you uh, maybe when you start getting a bit advanced with photography you may decide to go out and buy higher quality lens uh, and better as well which you know there is image quality variation depending on the, uh, the higher price you pay for a lens and that actually generally does uh, go for lenses the more you pay the higher quality you get so um, yeah the lens is nice uh, the 135 mil will be very similar to this except longer um, and um, basically it will keep the beginner entertained good enough picture quality for general use okay then so what I've done is I've shown you 600D footage I've shown you images I've shown you basically a small little review on the the buttons and uh, the on-screen menu of the camera and so I hope this is of some help to you and uh, remember you can buy accessories for DSLRs which means that they're very good for a different variety of ways whether you're taking images or videos um, and uh, like I say I would highly recommend things like battery grips uh, because this camera doesn't really perform well with the, uh, the, the standard battery that you get in the camera. Uh, I would also recommend buying a class 10 memory card because it gives better recording capabilities it, uh, it lasts longer and um, the pe well, depending on the size of the memory card uh, but also it gives you maximum performance with your with your video quality so that's a review of the Canon 600D and I'll be putting up more videos in uh, a variety of subjects and uh, see you later